Hi everybody, Monday morning update. I have some scripture and then I actually have some announcements. What a great problem. And so let me give you the scripture. It's Galatians chapter 5 and I'll start with verse 13. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence. Um, Paul actually in the Greek I think he writes flesh. Uh, don't indulge in the flesh. But through love, become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour, uh, be careful that you are not consumed by one another. And I think Paul is writing about how do we respond to crisis or how do we respond to a situation. And notice he stresses we should respond in love, in love. Um, as you, as any of you have watched the news over this past week and stuff, you know we've got some issues right now going on. And people probably aren't responding quite like they should. But that doesn't exempt us from responding as we should as Christians. And so I encourage you this week, love one another and show, show that love to one another as best you can and as best you are able. Um, that's our call. If we are slaves to Christ, that's our call. Um, so you do you, and, and I know you will. I've watched you all in action. You show love well, but continue to do that. And God bless you all real good, and amen. And watch this. We have announcements. Um, <clears throat> uh, Linda Hawkins is going to be out in the Circle Drive on June 3rd at 9 a.m. I don't know for how long. I guess as long as you're there, right? Come at 9. And she's going to pick up migrant bags. We're going to send out an email from the church so you know a little more detail about that. But I just wanted to get that out there for you all. Migrant bag drop off June 3, 9 a.m. Circle Drive. The church is going to have another option for you. Uh, we still like checks. It's totally fine to do checks. It's totally fine to put cash in. But because of COVID and, and how we've been a little more distanced from one another, the church is, is including now an electronic giving option for you. And so you're going to be seeing a little more stuff as we talk about Shelby, which is the, uh, the, the platform that we are going to be using to allow you, if you want, to, uh, to electronically give your gifts, electronically. And you don't have to. This is not mandated. Um, if it's something that scares you, just block it out of your mind and, and send a check. But if it's interesting to you, then as the information comes out from the office, read up on it and see how to do it. And then please give. Absolutely. Um, Rose Garden this Sunday. I think we're going to move the... No, I don't think. Uh, we're going to move the service back to its normal time of 8.30 and we're going to see how it presents in the Rose Garden at 8.30. We did really good yesterday. Great job, church. Great job. And we stayed under 50, barely, but we did. And um, so we'll see if that was legal or not today when the governor stuff comes out. But uh, I, I, we did really good. I'm really proud of y'all. And so 8.30 in the Rose Garden. Um, Saturday night, we're going to have Bible study in the Rose Garden. And so I invite you to come with your questions or any problems that you have with Scripture that you just kind of go, what, what is that? And we'll talk about it right out there in the Rose Garden with social distancing. And I'm not too worried about my mask because I'll be separated away from y'all, and I hope y'all are too, but bring a mask if you want. And we'll have masks here at the church. And then um, Sunday, like I said, 8.30 in the Rose Garden, but then Bob's Bible study will also be in the Rose Garden directly after uh, the praise service. And so bring your Bible and stay for Bob's Bible study. And the youth are also going to meet, I'm not sure where, but they're going to meet also outside somewhere and uh, under a tree somewhere where it's shady, I'm sure. And uh, they'll have a short devotional time um, after the praise service. So those are two things we look forward to. That's the stuff we have. Office hours are continuing the same. If you have any con concerns or comments, send them to me on email. I have a new computer now. Um, my old one blew up, so I get to play catch up with email and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, we'll see how we do this week. I think things are moving in the right direction. 
Stay safe, everybody. Do the best you can, and I think we're going to beat this thing no problem. Um, God bless you all. Real good. Have a great day. And remember, Paul says, if you're going to bite, you're probably going to get bit back. So if you don't want to get bit, don't bite. God bless you all. Amen.